Let's say you have a no income, no steady income, but you're looking for a personal credit card with a high limit from a credit union. What to do? What are the steps you need to follow? So this is what today's conversation will be about. So here are the steps I want you to follow right now. The first thing you need to think about is you need to think about restriction. You need to restrict yourself. Do not apply for too many credit cards at once. Yeah, because the thing is that the credit union that you want to apply for, they will, they will see your uh, your recent your recent inquiries, your re your recent credit uh, cards or credit lines open. So it's really important to really restrict yourself. So you need to understand every time you apply for a credit card, it dings your credit score. So if you apply for many credit cards at once, look, think about it. <laughs> it doesn't look good at all, right? It doesn't look good to a credit union, a credit card issuers. So what you want to do here, you want to do is you want to actually take a look. You want to take your time. You want to you want to plan things around. You want to take your time to find the right card to apply for, rather than waste your time applying for cars you are unlikely to get approved for. So the thing is that if you want to apply for multiple cars, then you want to spread out your requests so they are at least six months apart. And please don't listen to people telling you, hey, you can apply for multiple credit cards on the same day. It, it, it they really count for one inquiry. They are lying to your face. This is not true. If you apply for ten credit cards, you will have ten hard inquiries. On your credit report on that day okay so please do not listen to those falsehoods one thing i want to say here is that when we talk about credit union personal credit card with no income no income does not mean that you have bad credit you probably can have good credit you just happen not to have good income or let's say steady income at this moment okay it's temporary so this is why I'm just telling you there is a formula for success and the formula for, su for success is what this show is about so the all hopes are not lost okay so number one you want to don't apply for too many credit cards at once number two you want to know what's in your credit reports my thing here is that when you have no income that's fine okay i mean no income or no steady income because when you know there's nobody with no income i mean you gotta live if you're if you're watching this show or, or listen to this podcast you probably have a phone or you probably have a computer which means you have some revenue coming in at least something okay it may not be steady it may not be uh, like you know but it, 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 it is something so when you apply for a credit union personal credit card any errors on your credit reports they haven't been corrected could impact or even impede your approval so if you see an error be sure to file a dispute with the credit bureau to get a fix right away The third thing I want you to do is to apply for credit union credit cards that fit your credit score. Okay, this is important. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. We really appreciate having you here. We're having a quick we're having a quick conversation about uh, credit union personal credit cards with no income. See what what the, what you need to understand here is that a lot of credit union unions have uh, very flexible requirements when it comes to personal credit cards. Okay, and uh, they they have credit cards based on, of course consumers credit scores consumers uh, income levels consumers uh like there there is a, a whole world when it comes to criteria that credit unions look at the thing is that and i want to say this income is, is only one criteria a relationship with the credit union is the most important thing if you have no income or you have a no steady income to be more specific you need to have a strong relationship with the credit unions so that you are basically getting the card that you need but most importantly make sure that the credit card you want to apply for fits your credit score and how do you, how do you know well you just go to the branch this is why we tell our, our viewers not to actually uh, apply for credit union credit cards or just regular credit cards online i mean you know because the risks are too high it, a lot, it's a lot better to go to a branch or it's a lot better to actually call the customer service line to inquire more about the credit card before applying so when you when you inquire you just ask them when you go to a branch or when you call when, when you pick up the phone and just call them just ask them what is the minimum credit score to qualify for this credit card i mean this is assuming that you are already a uh, a member though right so they'll tell you they'll tell you it's 600 and 625 and six. 50 and whatnot so at least you know you're not wasting a hard inquiry based on uh like the hard inquiry based on your credit score okay so picking the right credit card is the most important part of getting your application approved so if you don't have good credit yet or you don't have any credit history then you want to maybe look for a secure credit card at your credit union 
okay instead of looking for a uh, an unsecured credit card you can look for a secure credit card now if you don't have income you probably don't have cash but if you do have cash if you have some savings uh actually uh some, somewhere you can actually pledge like 500 as a security for that credit card and start from there The fourth thing I want you to do here is to pay your bills on time, okay? Now, by the way, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about how to get a credit union, personal credit card with no income, like a high limit at that. See, the thing is that there are two things I need to mention here. When we talk about paying your bills on time, you are, so if you have no income, how do you pay your bills on time? Okay, that's the first question. The second question, which is related to the first one, is how how come you are charging more on your car that you can afford if you have no income <laughs> see see the whole thing you know we have a cash 22 sort of situation here because if you don't have if you don't have a decent income or you don't have high income you need to readjust your spending you need to readjust your 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 living standards you need to actually live within your means you you, you need to think about how you can actually i'm not asking you to to be frugal even though this could be a possibility, but if you don't want to be frugal, that's fine. But the thing is that, or, or there's another word for it, minimalist. You know, we have this whole trend of minimalism going on. But the whole thing here is that you got to live, okay? You got to be comfortable. But you have to actually adjust your, your living standards so that you are living within your means. One thing I want to say here is that when, when we talk about paying your bills on time, we're speaking about you, you having a, a routine that works for you, okay? Paying your bills on time each month contributes to your credit history and can help you get a high credit score so that includes payments for credit cards student loans and mortgage rent and utilities so you can even consider setting up automatic automatic payments at least for the minimum payments see that's the thing the minimum payment due each month you want to actually uh, pay that so that you can avoid accidentally missing the payments and getting hit with the late payment penalty you don't want that and uh, also trying to pay down debt if you have uh, debt especially credit card debt try to pay them before applying for a credit union personal credit card for no income okay the, so those are really important now the thing you need to understand here is that and this is based on our analysis debt it's not really a, a, it's not really a deal breaker technically but a large amount can make credit card companies especially credit union credit card issuers think twice about approving your application okay so there are two factors in particular to look at they look at your credit utilization ratio i'll speak about that later on and your debt to income ratio the the, the next thing i want you to do is to you know and i just said it you want to watch your credit utilization see boss the thing is the fact that you have no income doesn't mean you need to have a high cur a high credit utilization ratio the important thing to remember is that i just spoke about it. you this is that you got to think about your uh, your cost of living because you know if your cur is high it's because you're charging a lot of, a lot of stuff on that card in the first place yeah because credit utilization ratio is basically your your current divided by uh, the limits you have so you know if you're charging a lot of stuff on the card obviously and you're not paying it down every month obviously your your cur will go up right i mean and the thing what you need to understand here is that you want to maintain your cur at 30 percent or less i mean experts will tell you the lower the better if you're even if you're if you're good you can maintain your cur at even the one digit that's even better okay so the whole thing is you are if you want to increase your chances of getting a, a credit union personal credit card with no income you need to have a low credit utilization ratio and another thing that credit unions love when it comes to approving personal credit cards even if you have income or no income or no steady income doesn't really matter they want you to have a diverse range of credit what what is that see when it comes to credit in general you have a diversity of credit products right credit cards are not the only ones i mean credit unions wants to see that you can manage different kinds of credit products not just credit cards they want to see if you can manage a, a loan a personal loan a mortgage or if you don't have money to to buy a house yet maybe a student loan okay and uh, so basically so so we also have a line of credit which is another uh, 
credit products. So the whole thing here is that the credit union wants to be comfortable that you are that you can manage different kinds of uh, credit products, okay? And when you consistently make timely payments across the board, it shows that you can handle different kinds of credit and you are more likely to be deemed a reliable applicant by your prospective credit union, okay? And one thing I also want to say here is that it's it's really important to understand that and I, I was just talking about that before when we talk about credit utilization ratio there is a there is another related metric that is your debt to income ratio you also want to keep that that amount that uh, metric very low the next thing I want you to do here is to maybe consider a secure credit card to build credit history now, a lot of credit unions do have secure credit cards for for folks with no income. Now, as I said before, a secure credit card means that you have to actually put a security deposit. And this actually is good for you if you have thin or no credit history at all, or if you even have bad credit. Okay, because when you have, a, if you have a thin credit history or bad credit, it can be hard to qualify for a traditional unsecured credit card from a credit union. So with a secure credit card, you'll be asked to put down a cash deposit and your credit line will be equal to that amount. So after you make on-time payments over six months to a year, you will have a better card, a better credit union credit card, and you will have a better chance of being approved for a traditional credit card with a high limit. So this is something you need to think about. So boss, big decision time, big decision time. My question to you is, you have no income or no steady income to be more specific, but you have some savings. Do you have some savings you could tap into? Do you have something? Do you have some money saved, saved on the side, like a an emergency, uh, you know, a rainy day fund or an emergency fund that you can actually, uh, you know, tap into to actually uh, pledge as security for the card? Can you do that? If you can, then it's fine because this will be the cheaper, the cheaper, ver the cheaper option for you. If you cannot do it, the other question is: the other question is, do you actually have uh, maybe? Uh, a family uh, or a friend you can borrow from because the thing is that maybe you can get five hundred dollars from them or or three hundred or one thousand okay because the whole thing is that with the uh, with, with this kind of cards you just need to make sure that you are paying that you are maintaining a, a good history of uh, on-time payments over six months to a year because what will happen here is that after you do this, they will graduate you. So the card, the card issuer will graduate you. The credit union will graduate because because they mo they monitor transactions all the time. They look at how much you're charging on the card. They look at how often you're paying, how much you're paying. They look at all that. So it it is in your interest to to actually uh, maintain positive criteria, positive uh, profile when it comes a positive profile when it comes to your payment history. Another thing you can do here is to find a co-signer. So if, if you have no income or you have uh, no credit or bad credit and you want to get a, a credit union at a personal credit, you want to get a, a personal credit card at a credit union, a high limit one at that, getting a co-signer will increase your likelihood of being approved. Okay. And uh, the only thing is that there are not, there are not a lot of uh, traditional banks who will, uh, will, uh, will approve a co-signer for a credit card or an unsecured credit card but the good thing is that credit unions are not for profits okay and so basically they, they run they run their shows at, 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 like a family so if you're a member you're a family member okay so they will actually look at you more differently and more favorably so to speak okay they'll look at other criteria before approving you so when we talk about finding a co-signer this is really good because the, the only thing, because you are increasing your chances of uh, being approved, the, but it also means that someone else will be responsible for your debt if you can't make the payment. Okay, so another option is having that person add you as an authorized user on their account, which is like a, a lot, a, a lot, a lot less risky for that person. So there are, there are options here. Okay, and one thing you can also try is to build credit early. 
so applicants with a lengthier credit history have a better chance of being approved by a credit union when it comes to personal credit cards with no income okay so you want to start building credit early but maybe not too early and be careful when you close other cars especially if you have them if you have had them for a long time so your credit score will be higher if you have several open accounts in good standing so those are things i want you to think about and uh, one thing i also want to say here that is that when we talk about finding a co-signer or building credit early you have to remember it all depends on the credit union that you are going to apply for i'll speak about that in the next session but it's really important to understand that all credit unions don't have the same uh, criteria when it comes to the with the cards they want to give you okay the specific card you you want to you want to zero in on it has some specific criteria and that's all you want to focus on don't waste your time trying to look for a general general criteria for credit card approval no because that, that that will be like a irrelevant what you want is you want to focus on a specific card and learn all the rules and conditions that pertain to that specific credit card okay the last thing that i want you to do if you're looking for a credit union personal credit card with no income is to you know apply for the credit union you know i mean it's uh this is really important i mean the thing here is that uh the, the thing with credit union is that you do have membership eligibility so this is an important element you need to make sure that you qualify if you're not a credit union member right now you're listening to this show you need to find a credit union and when we talk about credit unions they actually uh, i mean it, this is kind of like the the selection process is similar to what you do if you're looking for a bank what i'm trying to say here is that you have uh, national credit unions you have regional credit unions you have you have state credit unions you have local credit unions so national national credit unions are credit unions that actually approve you no matter where you no matter where you're located at okay so for example you have PenFed. so PenFed is open to all americans and the u.s residents so not a problem they have no eligibility criteria it doesn't matter where you are located it doesn't matter whether you have a a, a, an affiliation with uh, with the military uh, like no they don't have that okay so that's the what that's what we call a national credit union you also have a navy fed navy fed also is a national credit union but you but you need to have a, some type of affiliation with the military so this is a but based on our research 98 to 90, 99 percent of americans qualify for a navy fed membership okay so an, another uh, national credit union will be ccu so consumers credit union so this is a, a, a good one you also have connexus so those are national credit unions then you have uh, the regional credit unions you have the state credit unions for example okay and you have uh, some credit unions that are based around a topic or around a company for example becu boeing boeing employees credit union okay that's another big so you need to really really see which one you qualify for and they'll ask you for your full name date of birth social security number your mailing address your email address phone number and your annual income now if you have no income as i said before no income doesn't mean like that doesn't mean no cash flow you're probably getting money from somewhere this could be uh, alimony it could be a sponsor support it could be government help it could be uh, it can be anything it could be you having uh, every you know you you have income coming in but not steady income so what i'm trying to say here is that i'm trying to say that you need to choose a credit union that you can qualify for and uh please go to a branch do not apply for this uh, credit union credit card online they, i mean they they, they all have a uh, they all have uh, processes whereby you can apply for your card online and they actually encourage you to do so but don't don't follow this don't follow. It's, it's a trap okay, okay because if you have no income the algorithm by you know the algorithm for all intents and purposes will deny your 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 application because the algorithm is built to recognize the income and to assign a credit card and a credit to actually approve credit cards and assign initial credit limits based on the income and your credit score so if you have no income then uh, you really are losing your, your you're not boosting your chances of, of approval at least with a high credit limit okay which is why we want you to to uh, contextualize the conversation and go to a branch and speak to a manager where you can actually uh, talk about your credit situation you know like really really um, really uh, extensively before before applying that way if you get approved you know at least that you have given the, the credit union credit card officer all the information they need 
Okay, so if, if they give you one thousand dollars, you can say, okay, this this is what you deserve at this point in time. If you get if they give you five thousand, that's what you deserve. Okay, so apply at a branch. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. We're just having a quick convo about the credit union, personal credit cards with no income, what to, what to do to really be approved, okay? So do not apply for many credit cards at once, too many credit cards at once. Know what's in your credit reports. Apply for cards that fit your credit score. Pay your bills on time. You want to watch your credit utilization ratio. You want to create a diverse range of credit. You want to consider a secure card to build credit history. You want to find a co-signer. You want to build credit early, and you want to apply at, a, at your credit union. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. I will speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.